Hey everyone, this is a small kind of update video on my uh, flying machine video, the pretty popular one. Um, and it's supposed to like address some questions which people uh, left in the comments on the flying machine video. Um, actually, I'm just gonna cover cover how do you write the um, this thing that's like what's uh, yeah frequently asked question. I try to answer it in the comments, but I never really played around with it myself. Myself, <laughs> um, and also how to transport stuff with it. So first off, how do you write this? Oh yeah, and then I'm also gonna like go a bit more into detail how to how you know, on a like method how to transport like a big amount of minecart chests, but that's kind of only... Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that later. <laughs> um, so yeah, riding this machine is pretty easy. You just place a boat, for example, here, in the block, for example, here. Um, wait, what? Um, this machine is kind of in a weird state. No, actually it has a piston missing. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. That's how we do it. You just hop in there. Um, to make it stop, you can place a block. Right here, because that exceeds the block limit of the right side of the machine. Um, then from in here you can also get it starting by first updating that piston, then updating that piston. Um, doing it with a flinted steel is the easiest way of doing it. You can obviously also update it with blocks. Then you lose two blocks usually. So yeah, it's not the ideal way. Um, yeah, that's pretty easy. But where you place the boat it really doesn't matter. You can also do it like this, no problem. You can like place it over here. Um, I can't kind of can't pl like yeah, kind of like that. I'm gonna get to that later. It's um, a bit more complicated, but it's worth it for reasons. Um, you could probably also place it somewhere here, but I'm not gonna get into that. It's pretty straightforward. Then second question, like I got um, kind of a week ago, is can you? Um, play the chest on this, and no, you can't. I don't think if what I think this is just not gonna. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, you, you can't move tile entities, and tile entities are blocks with stored data. A chest stores which items are in it, and the developers were too lazy to implement um, a system where pistons could move data uh, blocks which store data. Um, so yeah, so those tile entities can be moved. But then another person um, responded to that, that you could you maybe move minecart chests. Um, and that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, it seemed possible, so I, I, at first I think I actually answered, yeah, you could just place it instead of a boat. But then I, when I tested it myself, I found out that it's not working, like, um, would have to do it like that, but it just glitches through the ground. And the reason it does that is pretty straightforward. If you compare a boat to a minecart, and I can press F3 and B at the same time to do this, you can actually th see the bounding boxes, like the collision boxes of these um, entities. I can actually see my very own collision box, and then you can kind of see that if these two boxes touch, there's a collision. Um, oh, I have a new skin, and this skin is... I'm gonna uh, remove it, but doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> um, change it. Yeah, so the the boat thing up here only works because the bo boat have a very big bounding box, it's bigger than a block. And the minecart has a bonding box which is exactly the size of a block, so it can glitch through here, which is a problem. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, I lost my 
Yeah. Where was I? Yeah, so you can't can't just place it over here. Um but I kind of found a solution to that. You can there's a different position you can place it and that would be over here. You just have to place it right on the border between these two blocks. Um and that's gonna work because then it's always gonna be either on that block or on that block. Um that's how I, I, I kind of got the idea, but that's not entirely true. Um <laughs> and it's it's gonna work. Um yeah, no problem. But again, what actually happens right here is that it kind of glitches a little bit into the slime block, which kind of isn't bad. And I don't know, I probably like I probably not fully understand how this works yet, but you can then remove one of this blocks, it's gonna kind of be half in that block and it's gonna work just fine like that. It also works fine like that. So what we are actually utilizing here apparently is the fact that it will kind of glitch into the slime block and then be half on those two blocks. But then it only also works if it's also half on, on this side. So it's probably also have something to do with this piston pushing it or it like it not makes a lot it doesn't make a lot of sense. It really doesn't make a lot of sense. Like I tell it's not gonna work if it's over here and it's weird, it's weird. Um so yeah. But this is gonna work just fine. Um and that's how you transport uh minecart with chest. Um yeah, and you can also, if you place it on this side, you can have a boat and a minecart at the same time. It's not a problem. There you go. So you can get some extra storage with you when you kind of know have to travel a long way. Um, next thing, next thing. Um, nah, I'm gonna travel a little bit further because the ground is messed up right here. <laughs> So the next thing I wanted to do is um, to transport a big amount of minecarts, um, basically an infinite amount of minecarts, like a bunched up um, stack of minecarts. Um, some of you maybe know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to demonstrate it real quick. Um, you can use several tricks, this is one of them, to Actually, I probably don't need that. To um, it's actually funny how you can see in the direction here of the minecarts and how they kind of go in this want to go in this direction. Um, you can like get a stack of minecarts going like this, for example, and then you can actually remove everything, even the rail there on, and like yeah, they're not gonna move. And that I kind of wanted to move a stack of these minecarts, but if you just put a stack right here, uh, it's not going to work because what basically happens if they get a notch, they're going to go flying. Um, and that messes everything up, kind of. Yeah, so that didn't work, really. So one like solution I came up with, which really isn't a solution, would be to um, to use something different, which would be moving rails. Uh, at least that's uh, like I'm gonna go in the kind of mm, I'm gonna like more demonstrate my thought process here than what's actually happening in my end product. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Or maybe I can utilize the fact that I can move rails like this to align the minecarts. And what actually happened then, that my first design was this, um, um, like that, um, have a block and a rail and then use the same system we used before to stack up some minecarts. Oh. Yeah, you, you actually have to place the rails in the correct order or it's, it's not going to work. Um, 
to stack up some minecarts like this. Okay, and then fix up the machine like this, and then move the minecarts, and then like yeah, use that to move a bunch of minecarts at once. After you remove that, and it works just fine. But you can clearly see the disadvantage of this, and that would be that you need a solid floor for it to work. So in the super flat world it's not gonna be a problem, but if you do it in survival you're gonna like have to build, you know, something like a sky bridge like that for it to work. As a rail line, kind of. But that's the big disadvantage. But then, actually in my last attempt to record this video, actually this is my third take. The first one was kind of a perfect video, but the, there was a technical problem. Then the second video was a bunch of rambling and it just wasn't very bad commentary, so I scrapped that. <laughs> now I'm recording this third time. And every video I kind of learned something new about this machine, like randomly. And the last video it was the fact that, first of all, this could actually skip a block, like that. Um, it skips a block and in the process it also removes the minecart rail, so you don't actually need a rail right here. And you don't actually... Um, yeah, you don't actually need a completely... I, I don't know why this is behaving the way it's behaving, like it kind of it doesn't make sense to me really. But you, it, it can skip like one block wide gaps, not two block wide gaps, but it can skip one block wide gaps. And that's, yeah, interesting at least. <laughs> so this kind of makes me optimistic that you could probably get rid of that floor requirement, that you could probably kind of get that system and translate it up here and have like a completely independent minecart cluster flying machine. But I'm not gonna invest the time now to implement that. Um, or to think of a way to make it work because, yeah, I'm not planning on <laughs> investing huge amounts of time into this. So maybe I'm gonna come up with, a, maybe there's already something on YouTube about it, I didn't do a very extensive search of things. So maybe there's already something around which does the job, but yeah, for now you can at least transport like minecart minecart clusters along a kind of like bridge, sky bridge, rail, whatever, and that's I don't know, maybe that's enough for you. <laughs> maybe you can think of I don't know. It's something, right? It's something. So yeah, that's oh yeah, another thing I also should mention, like um because I actually needed the extra I needed two blocks right here, um to like from the block limit, I had to move that block over here, which then means that I can't put my boat over here anymore. So if you want a boat on this, it's pretty easy. You, I think this should work. Let's try it out. Yeah, it works. So, you, oh, oh, dang, that never happened before. Um, okay, this. Okay, let's just, I mean, before that I always did it like this, so maybe that's gonna work. I hope the eh, boats, both are glitchy in this game. I don't know, that was weird. But yeah, apparently you should better do it like this. <laughs> um, you can still have a boat right here, and from this position you can also, like, access all important spots. Okay, yeah. You I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, because if you push that, up the update that piston, you can then reach that piston. You can stop it by placing a block right here. So yeah, not a problem. You kind of... Oops. If you get off, you kind of get off onto the machine, which is also kind of an advantage, because if you get off right here, you will usually fall off. And yeah. That's it. That's everything I wanted to cover in this video. Um, yeah, I hope that like that in the future I can now just link to this video when somebody asks a question or whatever. So, that's that. that. <laughs> Bye, thank you for watching.